Okay, today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Just got this game in from Japan. Gonna open up and see what it is. Oh, wait. Okay, so I finally got the box open and since it came from Japan, they included a complimentary green tea bag. Not that I'm going to drink that, but more importantly, get this stuff out of the way. I got a sealed new copy of Yokai Dochuki. This is a big deal for me, even though it's not a rare game, but it's a big deal because I've never owned a PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 back when it was new, so I've never gotten a new PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 game. So this is my first sealed new game, and I'm going to open up and look at all the inserts inside. Okay, so get the plastic off. And there it is. You got the game card, the hue card, still in nice clear plastic, no, <clears throat> no yellowing. A little foam piece for the spacer. And go over here, instruction manual, and oh, no extra inserts. Kind of surprised. Most other Japanese games even use ones have extra inserts. But anyway, I'm going to pop this game in and give it a play. This is Yokai Dochuki. It came out in 87 in the arcades, and then the home port on the PC Engine was released in 88. Okay, going to just pop the game in. As you can see, it's all nice and clean and white, no yellowing. Let's give it a play. Copyrighted 1987, which is when the arcade release happened. The PC Engine, based on online sources, came out in 88. This game's a fun little platformer, very heavily influenced by Japanese horror and Japanese horror culture. In the game, it's about a boy who's trying to fight his way into heaven. Apparently he was not very good during the real life, and now he has to earn his way in. The cool thing with this game, all the monsters, if you're into any Japanese horror, especially classic Japanese horror, or Japanese horror manga, that's what they're all based on. This is a little gambling ring where you can bet to try to raise money and buy power-ups and objects. I'll leave. 